you can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. <gasps> Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Relax, the podcast. I'm Colleen Ballinger. I'm Eric Stuckin. Are you sure you're not Fievel? Did you say Eric Stuckin? Eric Stuckin. <laughs> And I'm not who? Fivefold? Oh, Fivefold Goes West? Yeah. Is you it know, Fivefold? I think it's Fivefold. No. What's the name? Fivefold. Is it Fivefold? What's the Fievel? name of that movie? Because I know it's then Fivefold Goes West. No, it's Fivefold. Fivefold. It's no. two Fs. It's not Fivefold with right a V. Um, so uh, Eric's saying that right now because I'm wearing a hat that looks like the hat, the guy, the mouse or whatever. Isn't it a mouse or something? And Fifel goes west. Yeah. It's like a mouse. Sure, it's um, a mouse. Well, Flynn usually wears his hat, and Flynn is so cute in it because it's so big on him. No, I'm wearing it because my hair is greasy and gross, and it's late at night. And so for anyone watching, I didn't want you to have to Fievel. see my gross hair. F-I-E-V-E-L. You are right, and I was wrong. I really thought it was Fifel. Fifel? Hmm. You were right, lovey. I'm sorry. Um, he's not paying attention. Uh, oh, uh, an American <laughs> tale. It was called An American Tale. That was the name of the first because Fievel Goes West is the sequel. I don't know, love. I don't Fifel. I really thought it was. I was going to fight I for that you too. you were a movie expert. Ha. Um, I was wrong. I apologize. Gosh, that, that was like very like, um, what's that effect called? Mandela effect for me. Like in my mind, it really was like Fifel, Like hardcore. I remembered it being. I enough. don't not like the name Fifel. I, I don't like I don't like the name Fifel or Fivel. We're not naming them Fifel and Fivel. <laughs> okay. Anyway, welcome. <laughs> welcome to, to the our... podcast where we always talk about nothing. And today we're talking about a lot of things. It's, it's our thirtieth be... episode, wow. guys. Thirtieth extravaganza. That's how old we are. Extravaganza. Either way, um, but we are going to be talking about our obsessions, our addictions. It's going to be a goodie. There's like like our strange. Isn't that a TV show? Our my strange. I think addiction? my strange addiction. Like people eat cat about, hair and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I have seen that show. There was one where um, a woman was obsessed with eating the foam in, in, the, in, the, couch. in, in the couch. I yeah. saw that one. And it was just like her couch. She was just eating the cushions that like didn't yeah. look healthy. Well, hey, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's not good for you, though. But it's always people eating something like rocks. They're like, I'm addicted to eating No, I've rocks. seen one that was like, I'm addicted to being a baby. And it was like an adult pretending to be a baby. Or oh, something. that I get. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, today we're going to be talking all about that. So we're going to be doing all different types of favorites and obsessions for you guys. We're going to give you all the little nitty gritty secrets of the things we can't live without. And things our from essentials. Our essentials from like what we have to carry in our backpacks and our purses it, down to what's in our shower, kitchen, things just in life we can't live without because this is the content you want. Well, no, well, maybe it, maybe <laughs> that people are looking for some stuff that but they I, need. I genuinely love when people do like what's in my purse, like videos or like yeah, morning no, routine. Me like, too. I, I find love them that stuff. riveting. I actually do for real. I'm I'm being serious too. I know. Yeah, so not that anyone's interested in us. No. But um we're going to tell you all of the our weird well, I'm interested obsessions in you. and addictions. I'm interested in you too. That's good you're interested in me because we're about to have twins. And we already have a child and we're married. So I would hope you'd be interested in me. Yeah. Otherwise, this might not work out. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about who needs to relax today. I will go first. Oh, wow. You must be excited for this one. Well, I'm just, I'm you passionate. regularly default to me. I know. I'm just passionate about this one. Here we go. Flies. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hit a nerve? <laughs> well, my relationship with flies is... <laughs> even need to tell it's you changed, why changed I don't even drastically <laughs> in the last couple weeks i don't even get to explain my relax I, eric just takes over go for it love. i just said oof i no, go for it you explain no. you explain the, the current fly state of affairs in this household so the summer for some reason last summer and now this summer um flies just are wild in our house like you open the door for two i'm not kidding i ordered postmates for lunch today and I opened the front door just long enough to grab the yeah. bag on the doorstep. And when I picked up the bag, two I saw two flies fly in our house. Yeah. I was like, what is going on? Like, what I is it about our house? Well, I think there's overhangs where there's shade. Sorry. And then it's so hot 
that like they're hanging out and buzzing around in the shade because it's so hot. Uh, and then when it opens, they're just there and they go in. I don't know, but man, do, it, do flies like the cold? I don't know. Anything well, they probably about don't like flies. 100 degrees, right? I don't know, if but I, I just fly. know they're, they're everywhere. I know a in our good house. amount. I don't know that fact, but I know a good amount about flies because since this fly problem has arisen, I have researched them to learn about them, their habits, so I can better kill them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We do not always let them live it in might, this house. Can you not? Is that not, can you not kill flies? Is that like a thing? It's, it's not kind to kill any living creature. Of, co- of course. And it's a living creature. Don't flies have a lifespan of 24 I hours? I did, with our son, trap a fly you under a, a glass today, then take it outside you and did. release it. Yes. But I also own two electric yes. fly swatters. Strongly recommend, speaking of things that we can't live without, it's- Oh yeah, this ties mu- right into the you episode. You must, I can't, I don't remember what it was like to not have one of these. It's like absolutely a must have. Yeah, there, it's like a fly swatter that looks like a tennis racket. Mm-hmm. And what would be the racket part of it is a, is like a, a, a metal mesh that is electrified by a nine volt battery. And when that, um, a la John McEnroe, tennis player, it, it hits a fly, it sparks, it makes noise. Mm-hmm. It um, yeah, they it go kills up and them. Smoke, it, yeah. So, what have you learned about flies? I can't stand them. I think they're so annoying. They like they go, they go in my ear. They bother my son. Yeah, they the, yeah. try to they just are so. They just come well, in your really, face. They're so annoying. They carry um, an enormous amount of bacteria. Gross. And when they land on food, they they go to the bathroom. They go potty. <laughs> um, but they also uh, regurgitate. Oh, is the thing so vomit? as they're. Yeah, so they're like just constantly vomiting and pooping on anything like they me. land on. I know. <laughs> Good one. Um, and uh, what I watched this video with Flynn. And they have uh, like 360 degree eyesight with those big eyeballs that they have. Mm-hmm. They can fly in any direction because they have evolved like two different sets of wings that act as like kind of tillers that will shoot them around. They're mm-hmm. pretty impressive. Well, just so you guys know, the reason he was watching videos is because our son requested to watch a video about flies because there are so many flies in our house that now our son likes flies. He thinks and they're talks, his friends. He they're thinks like they're his, his friends. friends. And so he'll be like, oh, let's watch a video about flies. And we have like plastic, huge uh, toy flies that he like will pretend he is. And you go up to and he'll go shoe fly. And He's say, always shoot liked it. bugs in general. Yeah, he loves bugs. He's which fascinated. Is, and he, look at it. Dada, look, mm-hmm. look. Today he brought up um, his little bug catcher and it had uh, a few dead bugs in it. He did not kill them. He rescued them from a spider web. Yeah, Flynn found but, a spider web this morning when we were playing, me and him, and uh, he found- uh, A ladybug? In this spider web was a dead ladybug, uh, a cricket, <laughs> and some weird kind of like fly, maybe a horse fly. I don't know, but the first thing- But he rescued thing- them and he thought said that they were cuddling very close. Yeah, this morning, first thing he ran up to, he's like, mom, look, I caught some bugs. And I looked at these dead bugs. I don't all, think And I, he said, mommy, they're cuddling. I haven't explained, and maybe this is, is this, maybe I'm outing myself here. Maybe this is bad parenting. I don't know. I've never done this before, but I don't know. Um, maybe someone knows the best way to explain to a child death. Oh, that's when, deep. We're, we're not getting into that right now. I don't, yeah, I'm not, I don't mean to get into it. I mean, I think I learned from Disney movies because every- Like Bambi and stuff. Did Fievel's parents, did they die? And that's why remember. he had to go west. Um, I feel like that's how I learned. Oh, you know what I mean? Because every Disney movie- Death wasn't like a, I mean, we're not getting into this right now, but I'll just, and this is what this is like. I think it happened naturally. I don't yeah. know. I'm, I'm just saying like, I, I see fly, when he sees dead bugs all the time. Yeah. And I'm like, Would you say I they're sleeping? sleeping. <laughs> I'm just sleeping. Bye. <laughs> um, I, I would never freak, death never really freaked me out when I was really little. I remember because it was just like, oh, they went to heaven. This really awesome, amazing, oh, cool so place. It's more like. So it was just like, oh, they're just, they moved is kind of how my mind explained it. Um, yeah. But then, you know, as you get older, it's awful but we can talk so about with, that so episode. with explaining <laughs> death to a two-year-old you have to also explain heaven no you don't I mean just, you also have to explain it absolutely not i'm Hell? just i know i'm just saying like that's why i i don't remember it being like a traumatizing thing because it was just kind of like oh okay is that I what just, it was for you 
that's what I can remember. It was just like, oh, they go to heaven. Okay, cool. Hmm. And but then I eventually did learn about hell, and I was like, oh, that's terrifying. Right. So those are the options, <laughs> you know. Um, or just nothing. Nothing. Or I, you know, we're not gonna get into that right now. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think needs to relax today, love? Well, segueing from death. Oh, God. Uh, I I know I talked a few episodes ago about like the pinky toenail. <sighs> But I was thinking about things that are essential to me, things that I need, I'm addicted to. And I think one of them is um, is fingernail trimmers. Yeah, that's, well, yes. It's like a staple. Mm -hmm. I cannot stand for, I feel like my fingernails, they go from like functional fingernails to too long in a (laughs) second. Like it's never gradual. It's all it's all of a sudden, oh, I gotta get these. And you gotta do it immediately. I have to do it immediately. It drives me like it drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. Gotta cut them immediately. It's always like all of a sudden they're like, and so I one of before we get to it, yeah, but one of the things in my backpack is fingernail clippers. But I just like I just need that I I don't know what else on your body is just always growing. Hair? Yeah, hair and nails. It's so <laughs> annoying to always have to get haircuts. You would and hate shave things. You would hate being pregnant because all of well, for many reasons. This isn't the reason, but it, they grow faster. It. So because of like, all the hormones, ho- yes. Well, and all the vitamins you're taking, and so and you're taking all these. You have no like. I will trim my fingernails, and the next day, I swear they're long. Like it's crazy it really how much is like it that. is so and crazy how said, fast I have to. You said how that your do it. your hair grows. Yeah. Faster. Well, for me, it grew faster after when I was um, breastfeeding, like after Flynn was born. But yes, your hair does grow pretty fast because of all uh-huh. the vitamins and hormones and whatever. It's pretty crazy. So I Googled why I Googled why do fingernails grow? <laughs> OK, <laughs> like, just like that's how it sounded in my yeah. head. I was I was mad about it. And like everything else in our body, there are living cells that are constantly replicating themselves. Like it's, skin. Skin does it. Yeah, like are... skin. So it's that's like in your hair. So it's like mm-hmm. the basic answer but i just don't we don't need them right so like evolution i would just think that like they could it could relax a little bit like we don't need to do it you don't think we need and fingernails it, i feel like no, they we do certainly need them, serve but they don't purpose. need to grow as much as they're growing yeah i guess relax. so you relax with is the, what i'm the saying growth but they only grow is there a way to stunt they, fingernail growth like one of because there's a lot you can take to make them grow i wonder if there's something you can take it's pretty much to make disease it, like if you oh, different okay. diseases well, will let's stunt not do that um but like uh, see, so I, I researched this, like I, I said. I can see, yes. Um, but they, essentially, over a month, your fingernails will grow typically about 3.47 millimeters, which is less than a grain of rice over a month. Okay. And if you lost your fingernail completely, has, have you ever done that? I've lost parts of a toenail mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah, it can take us. up Ooh. to six months for it to grow what? back. Isn't that wild? Is that true? That's what it says here in this reputable website about health facts. Hmm. Um, also I found this interesting okay. is that the fingernails on your dominant hand grow faster. Really? Yes. Why? Uh, because of, uh, when you're using it, it is increasing the flow of things on a cellular level. Oh, wow. You're such a you like scientist. That? You um, like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hormones, overall health, all these yeah. things. If you bite them, um, Really, if you bite them, they grow faster. No, these these are just. Uh, I just I you're said, just saying things about nails. <laughs> <laughs> just people bite them. <laughs> um, well, uh, biting uh, a chronic habit of biting your nails. Wonder wonder what that could be called. Nail biting. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought this was something that you had and are open about. I don't bite my nails. I bite my I, skin. Dermatomania. Oh, right. I don't know. I just figured it's oh, yeah. in this. You don't bite it the is, nails. Yeah. No, I don't bite my nails. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, well, it could make them grow faster is what I'm saying. If, well, if you do that. I didn't know that. Um, well, you know what? Nails aren't perfect, love. They're not perfect. Oh, They're imperfect, in fact. Uh-huh. Which reminds me, we should uh, thank our first sponsor. You know who it could possibly be? I'm thinking be? it's Imperfect Foods. It is Imperfect Foods. Yeah. What do you know? Colleen. What? Did you know that every day delicious groceries fall through the cracks of our food system because of how they look? Oh. That's awful. That sounds judgy. Imperfect Foods is turning this around by sourcing quirky but delicious foods and delivering them to you in a way proven to reduce emissions. 
I like the sound of that. Oh my gosh. I hate all emissions. <laughs> Imperfect Foods is a grocery delivery service that has created an entire line of sustainable groceries like pantry staples that taste delicious. Make a difference. Embrace imperfection and get your groceries delivered weekly with Imperfect Foods. You guys, it's convenient and fun because they're like quirky, interesting foods. And, um, you and know, I don't save have the to planet. go to the grocery store. Yeah, exactly. There's so many benefits. All you have to do is sign up, personalize your weekly order, and then shop online each week and get sustainable groceries that help you invest in a better food system, all delivered to your front door. Did you know, lovey, in 2019, 35% of the food supply went unsold or uneaten in the U.S.? That's a lot of food. I did know that. You knew that? <laughs> So you're smart. I do know. Smarter than me. Imperfect Foods is working to turn this around by sourcing foods that would otherwise fall through the cracks of our food system. Goodbye, packaging guilt and freezer pack Tetris. That's like my least favorite part about coming home from the grocery store when we go grocery shopping is like the Tetris of the freezer. Yeah. Our, yeah. Freezer, both our fridge and oh, freezer are man. bad, Tetris-wise. Tetris, it's so it's bad. It's not a fun version of that. Well, this game. eliminates Tetris, so it doesn't have to be a game over. You know? I honestly find that the foods that look kind of quirky are the, best, better. are the best tasting. For real. I've always said this. With Imperfect, you don't have to sacrifice the environment for your convenience. Imperfect Foods is the first grocery delivery company that makes it easy to return your packaging to them after every order. Unlike on-demand delivery companies, Imperfect delivers by neighborhood a unique model that produces 25 to 75% fewer emissions than individual trips to the grocery store. So if you guys want to check it out right now, Imperfect Foods is offering our listeners 20% off your first four orders when you go to imperfectfoods.com and make sure to use promo code RELAX. Again, that's 20% off your first four orders, and that's up to an $80 value. That's a lot of dollars. It's a lot of foods. Yeah, at imperfectfoods.com, offer code using promo code RELAX. Use that promo code. Try Imperfect Foods now, and for a limited time, get 20% off your first four orders. Check it out. Go to imperfectfoods.com. Not just one order, four orders. That's four. pretty good. Yeah, imperfectfoods.com, and use RELAX to sign up. I like that promo code. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get started on our weird um, obsessions and our addictions in our life. I thought it would be fun to start with um, our purses or bags, because you said you recently watched a video of someone like going through like the stuff in his bag, and I love watching those yeah, videos. Yeah, it was with a GQ that. thing of uh, Jason Sudeikis like going through his backpack oh, yes. and like his things, and I was like, oh, riveted. I was riveted. Why are they riveting? I don't know. So I was um, like, what's in my backpack? Is it as cool? <laughs> So I thought we'll go through mine first beat just because I know there's like three things in here, most likely. Oh, OK. So I do not carry a purse. I don't have a purse. I don't I'm, I lose everything. I I'm really bad at I'm just bad at that. But I'm just sometimes bad at purse you do. Having. And if you do, it's this mini backpack. Yeah. So I have but mostly it just stays by our front door right. on the ground. And you're like, can you get something out of it occasionally mm -hmm. to me? So I have two mini backpacks. Yes. I have a little white coach mini backpack and I have a Gucci little mini backpack that Jojo Siwa gave to me. I was going to say Gucci. <laughs> um, so those are the two. Well, that was nice of her. So my so these are the only two I have. And I I'm just I lose everything. So I just I'm really bad at this stuff. So And I have no idea what's in these. Like I take them with me everywhere I go, but I don't know what's in them. So I'm going to start with the Gucci one because it feels lighter. So in here we have a bunch of masks. So do you know what's in here? Is this no, I have of... no idea. Yeah. Okay. So this is a surprise for me. Okay. So we have uh, some masks uh -huh. um, because we're living in a pandemic. We what's also that? have, oh, what to get when after getting the COVID-19 vaccine. So this is the paperwork I was given after I got my vaccination. Um, I also have in here a... Nutrigrain bar that has surely expired. <laughs> My vaccination card. Be, let's be specific. What? what kind of Nutrigrain bar? It's a oh blueberry. A blueberry. Okay. And um, a note from. Well, that's the note I wrote you. Why is that in your backpack? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a note from Eric. What's this do you, from? Do you read it every day? No, I didn't even know it was in here. I don't. Did you put it in there? No, I don't even this? remember what this is from. This is from. Because um, we were talking about football notes. Yeah. Football style notes oh, for on this Valentine's part. Day, you gave me this. This yeah. is a Valentine letter. That was so sweet read of you. It. No, what if it's personal? I, yeah, I was kidding. Don't worry. Um, so uh, I have a little note from Eric in there, and I have a fidget toy. Um, because How does that work? You just play with it. 
<laughs> that's how fidget toys work. It's just a key ring. Yeah, that's kind of all it is. So there's nothing in that, basically. Just my my vaccination stuff. Just the essentials, just I guess. Essentials. Just what you need. So here's my other purse. Now, you will notice as I go through this, you will not hear me say a license. You will not hear me say a credit card. And you will not hear me say hmm. keys because these are all things that I have lost. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? So what's the point of a purse? Well, all you right. don't. Because you don't take that with you when you go. You take the things out of that. You put them in random pockets. Mm, I take this one with me. Where do they go? What? I don't know. I feel like they're in the, the sides of car doors. I take or this they're one with me. This is in this, the laundry. I don't know. But this this little white coach backpack I take with me everywhere. I really do. And I honestly don't know what's in this. We have my passport. Oh, good. And oh, an ultrasound. This is, oh, this is the bad ultrasound. One <gasps> that one's so bad. Love. Oh, you never looked at it. No, I never I was looked like, at it. So yeah. you can't show it in case there's like information on us, but um, oh, there is. you never know. But so our, we got a ultrasound done, like this really intense ultrasound where they, ch they measure everything, check the blood flow, check like the brain size and all the lobes and all the vessels. These people, and there are very impressive doctors, mm -hmm. very, very impressive doctors. They went to school for. 12 years, if not more, mm -hmm. um, top of their field. They are not photographers. Oh my God. We, so this is the appointment where we found out we were having a boy and a girl, like officially, officially, like she confirmed for sure we're having a boy and a girl. And so she took a picture of the boy and she took a picture of the girl. And that, what that means is they're doing this ultrasound and then they can click something on their apparatus to like take a screen grab, essentially a photo of the babies inside you. And I would just like to say that there were many moments during this ultrasound where like you got... We were looking at their profiles, their full bodies, their cute faces. Like, I mean, they were the so cute. The cutest little nose you ever and did see. And she took pictures of like the one, one of the, the girl's leg. I mean, I, I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you what that. I, I, I honestly really want don't. to show it because <laughs> I wonder if I can cover. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, but there, it's just so bad. It's like not even a picture. I don't even understand what it is. Here, I'll cover the information. And if you're watching, I don't think they'll be able to see it really, it's but it's like it literally, what does that even look like to you? It's, I don't know. I think it's it, a pelvic bone. I think it's like a, a, an old black and white photo of the first aquarium ever. <laughs> <laughs> like it does it, like it does. It's so bad. Uh, yeah. Um. So anyway, I'll go through this quickly because I think Eric's will be more interesting than mine because these are not things I am obsessed with and need to have. These are just things that happen to me in my purse where I feel like yours is going to be full of like actual essentials. So just assuming, okay. this is I that's my what passport. We were doing. I know it's supposed to be, but I just thought it would be funny if I actually told you what yeah. was because most women would Your have a passport like, is hilarious. Well, I just think most women would have a purse full of like their favorite lipstick and their favorite lotion and like their like, you know, whatever they just need. Not I don't just know, old essentials. Nutrigrain bars that yeah. are like smushed to right. pieces. So I have my passport and well, in the passport. Well, we can't open it because I don't want people to see my information. Will it break? No, no I but, just want to talk about the photo. Because every, no, you can't show my information. I'm not going to okay, show okay, okay, your okay, information. Okay. <laughs> I'm just scared Relax. you're going to like dox me here. Um, so I've been through the airport with this this woman many times. Mm -hmm. And every time you have to show your passport, they mm -hmm. always comment. I know, on, they like, make fun of it. This, no, they don't make fun of it. They say like, wow, what a great. It is like a glamour <laughs> shot. It's, it's like, um, it's so funny. It looks like to me like from like an like an 80s beer ad or something like it looks like like you look like a model but the photo like it looks like a like this is an ad for tooth for a really good toothpaste well i'm gonna take this as a compliment you like know i know shampoo, you're making fun of me but like in the 80s but like glam 80s magazine ad i would also like to point out it's an unbelievably good photo where did you take this photo <laughs> in my house what so back, I don't I know had if to you take still mine can. at a at a FedEx. I was allowed to take it in my house as long as it was up against a white wall. But I just have to what say is... that not only um, does he like to make fun of my passport photo, but I'm not making also, fun of it. I'm saying how great it is. Talk about what else is all over my passport. Red lipstick. Oh, it really is. Yeah, totally. Okay, so let's move on because we have a lot to cover like here. I don't want to just talk love. about my passport forever. So my passport and what Eric just took out away from me um, is a photocopy of my health insurance because I lost my health insurance card. So I like print out my health insurance card on paper. You also had a paper. printed copy of your driver's license that you would carry around. Like, oh, yeah. Like on printer paper, your driver's license. An envelope that has nothing in it that says Colleen Ballinger because I went to the dermatologist, but I forgot my credit card. And so I had no money to pay for it. And so Corey had to come in while I was in 
in the dermatologist, he went and left this at the front desk with my credit card in it. And it says Colleen Ballinger on it. So, Did he write this? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Um, I have a mask for my son. A little cute mask for my son. Oh, another ultrasound. They're just crumpled in my bag. <laughs> well, with twins, you have to go a lot. These are a little cuter, but still not very great. Um, all right, let's see if there's anything else in here. Oh, a lollipop I bought for Flynn and forgot about. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, kind of lollipop. Let's get into it. An Astro Pop. Yeah, was this Astro a thing for you as a kid? No, we we got it because we were like at... Um, I was at that ice cream store. That you was... were at an ice cream store. That wasn't very good. And I also have... There's something stuck in this little tiny pocket at the bottom. Again, riveted. I know. Riveting. <laughs> Shut up. You're what, me what could it be? Oh, my God. First Oof, of all, look at dirty. my hand. Oh. <laughs> okay. If you are watching right now, you can see my fingers. <laughs> They're covered in, I is think, Is that what the makeup? bottom of that backpack is? It's yeah, the bottom. And it like has makeup this, mud? It has this makeup in it that is um, like a 24-hour lasting lipstick but i don't know what how long this has been in here because i don't even recognize it but it's so deep so in that's my not your go-to no i don't uh, think i've ever used it i feel like i need to wash my hands um we're going into the front pocket now which has our car key in it damn i've been looking for that <laughs> <laughs> 20 dollars 40 40 dollars 45 dollars cash um i have a business card for our ultrasound tech and I have a receipt What's it for, for <laughs> the same for the ultrasound tech. Oh, yeah. For what my health insurance didn't cover. More dollars. Oh, it looks like we got four bucks here. That's forty nine dollars would be the total, I believe. What's that receipt for? The same. It was for this. I don't know why I have so many receipts for two Why cough are you giving drops. me the cash? Why don't you just put it back? Oh, because you're right. Two out. cough drops. Um, some what kind of cough drops, love? Paul's cough drops. Okay. Some random earrings. I don't know how long ago these. Do you wear earrings? No. So this is oh. this is telling. And my favorite part. Well, I, whose earrings are they then? They're what mine, do you mean it's but telling? It's telling because like I never wear earrings. So that just shows like how long I have not cleaned out this backpack because. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Anyway, the final thing is an absurd amount of Who's tiny <laughs> seashells. I'm letting you guys hear me crunch them together. Oh, well, give them a second of that. That's some good ASMR that, right there. Um, isn't that, it doesn't sound great. And so there's a lot of sand in here, but listen to this. Seashells. Yeah, they just keep saying seashells. <laughs> I feel like that would put me to sleep. That would help um, me relax. So we went to the beach like a month ago in Santa Barbara and the tide was low and there were all these amazing seashells so i just like collected seashells for like an hour and got very sunburnt but a horrible farmer's tan well, it started because me and flynn found a cool one and he wanted to give it to you come on look how good these are got, love. yeah so i totally pretty. forgot that we did that well they've been in my purse and no wonder my purse was so heavy because it's filled with sand and rocks God, there's so many good seashells i have to go through those anyway that's my backpack that was the boring part we shouldn't have started with me but i thought there was a lot less in there um let's go to yours i was again riveted where are you for what real? was it gonna what could it be what could it be? Uh, could it be? What That's could it what be? could it be? All right. Let's see what's in yours, my dear. All right. It's All right. Eric's turn. This he has is a, my pack pack. His, as, or as Flynn would call it, a pack pack. And talk about your pack pack here, uh, lovey. This is my pack pack that uh, you got for me as um as a uh, Christmas, Christmas present. And by I got for him, he means I said, I don't know what kind of backpack to get you. You're very picky. And he sent me a link to this one. I liked this one. Yeah. Um, it's very cool. It's like a, it's like a canvasy type of. It's canvas and it's got some uh, leather parts. I'm trying to look for who made it. Who makes this? I don't know who I makes it. Yeah, Tanner Goods is the name of the. It's very fancy. Uh, company, but I like it because it's like a waxed canvas and it's very light and it has like thin shoulder straps, so it's not like mm -hmm. digging in. Yeah, we take a lot of little like weekend trips as a family. And well, yeah, and and this was the thing. This is how I would roll up to set every day for mm -hmm. work. So essentially what I'm going to show you that is in here is what I would bring to set to set. <gasps> oh, my gosh. And I'm the things so that I need excited. to I'm, survive. I'm very excited to know, but we're going to have to have a. What's in my this, sack? This is I can't wait to see what's in your sack, lovey. But we're going to have to wait a second and leave y'all in suspense because be? we need to say thank you to our next sponsor, which is Solid Gold 
pets. Thank you. So Solid Gold was the first holistic pet food company in America, started in 1974. I almost said 1749 because I'm a little dyslexic, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not that old. 1974 this, yeah. by, by Sissy McGill. Sissy was a trailblazer and a pioneer who disrupted a male-dominated industry. Ugh, love her. And created a natural pet food um, before it was cool. So now it's like cool to be like all natural and green and whatever. But back in the day, she cared. She cared before anyone else did. And I think Mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Solid Gold's nutritional platform is inspired by their founding belief that high quality food is the best way to impact our pet's mind, body, and spirit. For over 45 years, Solid Gold has revolutionized the holistic pet food category, and they have a recipe for any dog or cat's dietary needs, including healthy, whole grain, and grain-free options, wet foods, supplements like sea meal, and 100% human-grade bone broth for dogs, which we have given to moose, and he loves because we've mentioned before, he's a very anxious dog. Moose is our, um, assist, my assistant slash my best friend's dog who's here every day. And he's got anxiety so bad. And there'll be days where like, he will just be like, I'm not eating my food today. And he'll just like, he will completely boycott his food just, and we can't figure out why, but we use this bone broth and he gobbles it up. Plus they have, they've sent us like Snacks and and um, vitamins and things. Fa- like if you saw that at a fancy restaurant, the menu would be like, oh wow, bone broth. I, I get it. That that would be yeah, twenty five dollars. I know, bone, whatever it is. So solid gold foods are different because they cleanse the digestive system with whole superfoods, balance with living probiotics, and fuel with omega three and six fatty acids, supporting gut health and nourishing your pet inside and out. So right now to save 30% on select solid gold products, go to solidgoldpet.com slash relax. That's solidgoldpet.com slash relax to save 30% on select solid gold products. Remember solidgoldpet.com slash relax. Basically our cats eat better than us. Yeah. (laughs) Basically is what we're trying to say. It's a little embarrassing. I need a kombucha or something. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, let's get into the backpack. Oh, Mr. Stockland. Uh, I feel like this is very, now I feel like this let's is very dig in. personal. Come on, let's dig in. Love. All right, who cares? What do I got? Uh, okay, first thing, eye drops. Mm-hmm. Eric Op- loves Opcon, an eye drop. This is an eye allergy relief. Opcon A. Yeah. Uh, is the brand. You don't need to read the ingredients I, well, or anything. No, I know. Well, I, maybe people want to know. Yeah, maybe they want to like, know uh, your, your brand. And maybe someone will say, hey, Eric, don't use those. They're, you know what I mean? Those are. You know what? I always, I always thought when people had eye drops like in their bag, in their backpack in their purse, they were like a stoner because I'd heard that once. Well, that's why I used to have them. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. But like, I remember being told that once in high school because I didn't do that in high school. I, you know, I still don't do that. Not but, yeah. But when I saw people have like eye drops, someone told me once like that means they're a stoner and they're trying to. Oh, get rid totally, of their red totally. eye. Totally, that makes sense. But like, uh, as as a it's someone in high school, maybe, but as as someone showing up to set at five a.m., it's that like, and then having to film a scene that doesn't take place at five a.m. Mm-hmm. It's it's me trying to not look as tired. You know, the eyes are the winner to the soul. So, are the winner to the soul? Yep. No, they're the win. Wait, did you say winner? I said window, but it's oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, the winner. Uh, a pen. A pen. Pens are important. So that makes sense. Pilot. A pilot pen, the G two zero seven, black ink. Okay, sounds like that. <laughs> so dumb. Um, I love this it. is gonna be this is there's gonna be a lot of these in here. Oh yeah, uh, you love chapstick. I think this is one of my strange addiction is that I need to constantly yes. be putting on chapstick. Yes, and what I what I've gone through different periods of different chapsticks, but um, right now it's Aquaphor, um, immediate relief. You know, it seems like pretty generic and like free of parabens. I'm just guessing mm-hmm. it doesn't have parabens. I don't even I know like what those paraben sound is, bad. To be Yeah, it's not good. Um, I that was something. It was one of the first things I noticed about you on set of Haters Back Off is how you were always like, I need chapstick. Where's the chapstick? And you'd be putting on chapstick. I also noticed that you and I think really? this isn't. Mm-hmm, I noticed that about you on Haters Back Off. I don't. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not something I'm doing on sec. Well, I, yeah, your mouth gets dry. I yeah. don't know. It's like it's uh, not a bad thing. Um, but I also wanted to say here's another one. Um, I think it is very interesting. Thir- there's three of them in here in different varieties, but all the same brand. How men put on chapstick versus how women put on chapstick. What do you mean? Like men like what? kind of pucker their lips when they put on chapstick. Like not pucker, but like tighten. Yeah, you do. 
um, like more tight. Yes. Yeah, so oh, you tighten, yeah. like, tighten your lips. <laughs> Whereas women typically, because we put on lipstick all the time, it's more like you like widen your face, like a smile. Cause then you can get in all the like lines of your face. Whereas oh. when you like pucker your lips and tighten them. I love it really when small. I learn things on this podcast. Okay. So, <laughs> so when you tighten them really be better. small, you're not getting it in the creases more, mm -hmm. you know? But then you do the rub, right? You, you do the little... Yeah, you do the rub. But I'm just saying you can get a, you need more, even, a more even coverage. If yes. you like smile a little bit when you put it on, just make sure this, the lips aren't as uh, tight. Uh, good note. <laughs> it's not a note for you. It's just a note to mankind. <laughs> okay, the nail clippers mm -hmm. I was talking about. These are a double nail clipper. Ooh, two sider toe nail clipper. Mm -hmm. Look you know, isn't it interesting that toenail clippers <laughs> do well, both at the same time? We could I guess. both be doing our nails. We could both <laughs> clip our nails at the same time. So wait, isn't it weird how like toenail clippers? It always bothered me that they were bigger than fingernail clippers because because your some of your toenails are smaller than your fingernails. Yeah, like why? Is it, does this bother you too? This always bothered me. I just got a hot flash of anger. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, love. Like what is going on? I, well, I do it. A huge. I think you only need it for the big toenail. Yeah. Yeah. Arguably the biggest of all the human nails. True. And and I don't know about yours. Mine's pretty thick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like sometimes it takes. Uh, <laughs> it takes more. Some effort. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hard work down there. Yeah, I, I understand. What, else, what you else you got in here, love? <laughs> uh, a random pair of tweezers. Okay. In a, in a leather case. Well, wait, I don't want you want them to just be loose. I don't know. I'm just like impressed uh, that they're like in a fancy leather Tweezer like, man, case. it says. Tweezer man. Oh, it's for men because you couldn't possibly have regular no, tweezers for I think girls. That's, I, think that's, I think it's actually <laughs> like a, a non-gendered brand of tweezers, but it does say tweezer man. Like tweezer man. Maybe it's tweezer man. <laughs> I think it's I think it's to appeal to guys. Um, That's funny. Because you may get a rogue, I don't know, something. A, a rogue unibrow moment. A rogue, a rogue something like you're there in your trailer. You're like, gotta like. Yeah, you gotta get, get that. It could be it could be anywhere. Yeah. And you gotta you gotta get that. I understand. Get that with your tweezerman. With your tweezer man, uh, not okay. tweezer woman. That's all the side ones. Okay. Yes, almonds. Like always. Always this man in almonds. This is an obsession of you. Of have yours. loose sand and makeup in the bottom of yours. I will have loose almond, loose raw. You uh, almonds. Uh, my husband. You want to hear him? You compare him to the seashell noise. I can. I can guess the other food item that will be in this bag will be some sort of protein bar because yeah. protein bars and almonds are this man's like must-have obsessions. Yeah, almond as a snack. Um, yes, I know it requires a lot of water to grow, and that's controversial in a drought. Um, but they are high in protein. And I didn't know that nutrient. actually. Yeah, did you know that like the almond tree takes literally, like, I think, the most water of any really crop to hmm. grow? Yeah, and they're grown specifically in California, which we're obviously having a problem with the drought now. So I should be more. I'm, I'm yeah. going to speak to it. I should be more educated on it. Yeah, um, I, I'm not at all. Clearly, uh, I didn't even know about that. But. Uh, Oh. oh, nature value. <gasps> this is this, this is a classic. This, this is a controversial. Uh, the nature, the the classic nature valley crunchy. This is controversial. None of these things are sponsoring this podcast. Um, but uh, I love them, so I'll, I'll say they're them delicious. Out loud. But like, just the mo the messiest yeah, granola bar I, in the world. I sometimes um, just the excitement of of performing, you know, and being on set. Like, you can be a little nervy in the tummy. Mm -hmm. um, and so something that's just bland. flat and yeah. bland, hence the almonds. I have always found that these are good. Yeah, I agree. To with that. continue living, um, mm -hmm. and also get in all the cracks of your car, mm -hmm. your bed. Don't eat these in bed. Oh no! There's been many funny things on. Oh yeah, on there's how so many funny memes on these those. things. Shatter and explode. You take a bite, and it just. Sh yeah, there's no way to avoid like the most insane amount of crumbs. Yeah, in the universe. I can't do original material on Nature Valley bars. I think that mm -hmm. that uh, what is this mess? Well, has been mind. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know, what are we doing? Beauty secrets here. Uh, <laughs> I this isn't this is. Yeah, I'm pretty much exposing myself. Yeah, no, lot. I love it. Um, but like this I had is a sand thing, in my bag. This is like a newer thing for me as a gentleman is the idea of a product that is a facial mist. Yeah, I think these are a scam big time. But you think so? Eric loves I know them. Not, I, I don't know that they do anything. But again, this is 5 a.m. And you have to like act Wake like up. you're yeah. like this awake person, not at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I found that spraying um, 
mist on your face? A, mi- a cool mist. Uh, this one says it has witch hazel. What is that? I don't know. I hear about it a lot, though. I feel like that's I feel a like thing. Yeah, I do, too, in like skin care yeah. products. Uh, a witch hazel aloe vera mm. cucumber alcohol free. Um, it's just like a face mist. Can I give you a little? Uh, I would love a spritz. Okay. Close your eyes there. Lean away from your microphone, perhaps. Okay. You, <laughs> you want any okay. of it? No, that's fine. Oh, it's got mostly out of my mouth. Uh huh. I don't it know. It does it's tend to get in your wet. mouth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't like wet face? <laughs> I'm not a wet face fan. Um, but Eric does love there. I remember there was one Christmas where I gave you like. I don't like, know that they do anything. I don't think they do, but I, I don't know anything. And I'm, I'm not good at taking care of myself. You're a little better at taking care of yourself than I am. And what does a skin toner mean even? What's a toner? I know it does something. I don't, I'm the worst What does worst that mean for your ask. skin to be toned? I don't know. I think it like uh, evens your skin toners. I don't, I actually just made that up. It's for healthy really looking know. skin, adding moisture while helping to protect the skin from airborne impurities. And as uh, an alternative to astringents, another term that I've heard, but I don't know what that is. I don't know. But there was one Christmas where I got you like a box full of like every kind of facial You did, spray. yeah. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. But this is, a, again, a new thing. It's only in the last couple of years that I'm like, have been interested in these. And this is one that I've uh, Taken a enjoyed, I guess. Yeah. I was spraying it on my face. Sure. I don't know. I never knew there was this much stuff in your bag. Like I always thought it was like just a script and like some snacks. I never knew it was like this uh, vitamins. Out. I like that that vitamin company mm-hmm. ritual that yes. they sponsored an mm-hmm. episode. Uh, I liked their vitamins, mm-hmm. and I'm continuing. To, I like them. I feel like vitamins are important because of course they in your are. diet you may miss a lot of things. Um, <laughs> this is such a funny episode <laughs> to me. I'm, I have a deodorant in here. Love, what is that? Is not deodorant, is it? So this was. Oh, a, it is. This, yeah, it is. This was. Why does it look so fancy? Uh, because it was from another one of our sponsors, Athena Club, oh, from like way back. Yeah. Um, and uh, they sent us this, and this is I. It looks I so don't, fancy. Again, I don't know if it was gendered, but it it is. They sent two of different kinds, and I really liked them both because for a deodorant to be aluminum free, natural, and last all day. Like now, it sounds like I'm just doing reading an ad. Yeah, I know. But like. Uh, I actually like them a lot and mm-hmm. have been been using them and I like the smell. And this gets me, this kind of bridges me into another weird, since we're talking about weird addictions, obsessions, mm-hmm. why do I like to smell your armpits? And I do. Wait, do you really like to? I don't know why though. Oh, you're admitting it. Cause he always yeah. does it. And I always thought he did it to bother me. Cause it was like, it makes me well, insecure. It's not, it's not like a, we're not saying it's a fet. It's, it's not like a like, kink. It's not, yeah, it's not, I'm not fetish, fetishized. Fetishizing. Fetishizing. (laughs) Fetishizing. Fetishizing. Wait, why is that so hard to say? What is it? Fetishizing. I I think I somehow also whistled while I said it. Uh, That reminds me. We'll never know. We have to pause. First of all, we need to pause because we have to continue this conversation because it is really weird. He will randomly like smell my armpits and I'll be like, ah, stop. I'll get so insecure. But you've done it so many times that I started to be like, wait, do you well, like this? I think like, it's what almost deal? Uh, impulsive. Like, I don't even realize I'm doing Why it do you until do it? it's happened. What are you thinking when you do it? What are you uh, feeling when you do it? Just dominance. It's just uh, it puts dominance? you in your place. <laughs> <laughs> You're so weird. No, but what that reminded me of just now, love, is um, the when sound you said, I the made sound that someone made. caught so, that okay, we didn't know. So he just said, like, I think I whistled. When I'll, I'll have to look for the tweet. It was the um, funniest thing ever. And I'll I'll send it. Um, to my a, brother so he can drop it in here. There's a tweet where that that made me laugh so hard of someone was like, I just can't stop thinking about this sound that Eric made. And I don't even remember the context. I can't remember much about it. But I just I know- watched the video of the little clip of our podcast <laughs> a thousand times. <laughs> I don't and couldn't understand. It. And then how you didn't comment on it. And nobody, nobody did. Like it just existed that my he made the weirdest sound voice ever. throat had just made. I don't want to replicate it because I don't. The funny part to me was I couldn't. Like, <laughs> I, couldn't I couldn't actively <laughs> because the funny thing to me was like, why is no one talking? The tweet was something like, why is no one talking about the sound that Eric's throat made randomly? But yeah. what was so funny to me is my mind was going, what could this sound possibly be? And the sound that comes out of Eric's mouth is the most unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> like it was the last thing I thought it would be. Oh. And for some reason, I laughed so hard at that. Like I was like crying laughing at that and there's a little blister form in here 
I got, I took care of it pretty much right away, but the worst blisters are in here. I've, I've been busy making props for a live show I'm having this weekend. I, you're, you're, you're downplaying this. Anyway, that was, we're I getting know. off topic now, but. I'll have to, I'll have to find it. Um, it was so funny. I don't know how I would, but. I would. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll find it. But um, anyway, yeah, Eric does have a weird obsession with smelling my armpits. I don't know what that is about, Lovey, but like, it's yeah. really weird. Are there, are there, there is? Yeah. Is there, um, are there uh, yeah. other things you like going. to, are you a smell guy? I would be surprised if you were a smell I guy. I have a sense of it. Well, because you don't seem to be a smell guy. Like you're not like a. I think I think it's. Uh, what what does that mean? What is well, a like, smell guy? Like a guy who Who's like a smell guy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I, what well, do you like, mean? What, what's the so smell like, guy? When you smell my armpits, like is it like you like the smell of stank or you like the smell of like I'm not, deodorant? Like I'm what not is seeking it? it out if that's what but, you're like, asking. Why do you do it? Do you I just, do? Because I, I thought you did it I, to bug me. Yeah, it like tease. It's like teasing you, but also like. Because I, I hate I, it. I need to know. You need to know what it smells like. I guess I don't know. So you don't smell like like that smells good. You're just like, oh, that's what it smells like. It's you. I'm getting to know you. I'm knowing you. I'm I'm so, checking in. Sure, but I There's, don't want to smell your armpits. We only have a certain amount of senses, uh, and and I want to know you in every sense. But I don't want to smell your armpits. Is it the same feeling of like? I, I'm not offended by that. <laughs> is it? I'm, the is I'm it saying the this is a weird thing I do. <laughs> but is it the same feeling of like when you kind of like? It's gonna sound weird. <laughs> what, what are you about to say? <laughs> is it the same thing as like when you smell your own fart and you're like you're like <laughs> love? <laughs> and it's awful. And you're what? And it's awful. But then you're kind of also like huh, kind of nice love. <laughs> it is exactly the same. <laughs> It, you have, <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. And I'm telling you, it is exactly the same. It's this like you, you have, and you're like, oh wait. I feel like goodness. I just had like a breakthrough <laughs> therapy session. I feel like I owe you $180 for telling me that about myself. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I'm sorry. Been back. Okay. <laughs> I've seen like funny TikToks about that of people being like, when you smell your own fire and you're like, oh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's me knowing you. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Breaking down, <laughs> breaking down walls in this episode. Are we both crying? <laughs> I think we're both so tired. Guys. This has been a really long week for us. We haven't slept all week and like my symptoms have been so and bad. And if we appear sweaty, it's that our air condition has broken in the 100 degree. Eric has spent probably a total of 25 hours talking to men like who are fixing the electricity or something in the different air conditioner boxes and the just com I mean, the oh, compressor God. broke in our ac unit which is a big deal but this apparently. is not what we're talking about today do you have more stuff in your bag this isn't an, an hvac uh what? podcast no love what is there anything else in your bag or would you go through it all no there's there's so much more in there my bag. is yeah oh my god i know it looks a little bit it's got so much stuff. okay what else is in there uh Oh, yeah. Very important. Oh, highlighters are very important. Yes. I don't, I think. He's got highlighters this in is there. The thing. Here's a little like insider, the acting studio tidbit. Like on sets nowadays, everyone is, is so sets have gone, essentially they've gone green to where it's like you used to show up to a set and they would print out the script or the sides for you. Like they'd be kind of like mini sides. It's those little pieces of paper. Do you, did mm -hmm. we do this? We yeah, did this on haters, course, right? Yeah. So you'd go to your trailer and, and your lines, your scenes for the day would be printed on these little pieces of paper. And now sets have gone green, which is amazing. And they'll just- um, Is it because they've gone green or is it because of COVID? Uh, since before COVID, this really? has been happening. Yeah, and they'll just email you the sides. So you can uh, and print them out yourselves. I guess I I- Dude, I'm just so used to having the hard copy. Yeah, I need it to like write the on physical it. Mm -hmm. copy of it. Hence the highlighters. I, I, I mean, I, I, need I would it like to, to go. I'm the same way. I go as green as I can in all areas of my life. But as far as like memorizing lines, I like to hold them. Like, yeah. Um, uh, and but like, um, so you'll go to essentially when you go to rehearse a scene, you'll be there with the director and the other actors and you'll kind of start talking about the scene. And it used to be um, that you're all holding this paper, you know what I mean? With the script on it. You know, and now phone. all the actors are holding their phones and then the director has an iPad where they, so and, and, you know, and they're making notes on their iPad. I couldn't handle that. That that sounds even like even worse mm -hmm. to me. And all the actors, so you're holding your phone. It's like yeah. another thing where you're just holding your phone. Like no shade if that's how like people work or whatever. But for me, I like need the hard copy. Hence, uh, highlighters. Something I'm always buying. Interesting. 
Uh, speaking of hard copies, this is a cool thing that I like. This is this like leather bound notebook. It's a three ring binder. Yeah. Oh yeah. Three, three. three ring binder. So for his script. So he keeps it in like a satchel. It's not so I can go sit in hipster coffee shops and be like, look at me. I'm reading a script with my it's leather. It's very binder. hipster though. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I just like it. I did. Cause it, it's yeah, like, cool. if I'm going to be looking at it all the time and focusing on it, like, like put in another thing that I think is mm-hmm. like cool. So that's yeah, super neat. Um, what else we got in here? Love. Sun, sunglasses is, a, is like a, oh I, that's an obsession of my husband Holy i have crap. many pairs of sunglasses he has fancy sunglasses my husband he loves fancy sunglasses they're on your the way i feel about sunglasses is um is that they're on your face that is a fact about them so i feel like they should be uh if you're gonna invest in something like if this is something this is one of the few things that's gonna be on your face right so why if you're Go gonna for it yeah I don't like sunglasses, so that's not my Why don't yeah, you never wear sunglasses. No, you were born and 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 raised in California. Mm-hmm. California, USA, and you mm-hmm. do not wear sunglasses no, I do not. at all. No, I do not. I do the not. The only like sunglasses them. you have I have bought for you and then forced you to wear for a picture. Yeah, I don't like sunglasses. Yeah. I feel um blind in them. I feel like I can't what? see anything. It it lessens my vision. You know what they do? Oh, yeah. Do you yeah. need glasses, you think? No, I have 20/20 vision. I have a very good vision, okay. but um, my no sunglasses. I feel like I can't see anything. Like I feel like it's like blinding me. I, I do not like them at all. I do not like them at all. I hate sunglasses. Don't ever put them on my face. I don't like them at all. I'm very anti. They need to relax. That should that should be my relax. You okay? I think I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just um, letting you keep going. What else there. we got in there, lovey? Uh, but these are yeah, these are Garrett Light. Okay, it's a California company. Sunglasses. Who else we got in there? Very important. Garrett Light. We got a mask. Always. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. Ma- uh, what am I? A I am vaxxed and, and I wearing masks. We are vaxxed and masked. I want my child to have friends and be able to do things with him. So uh, this is a company that I the, that I found is like I've, I've, as maybe a lot of us have like been trying to find the best mask mm-hmm. during this whole time and gone through different. Brands. This is a company called Evolve Together that I really like. Their this is their N95. He just put it on for the listeners. <laughs> uh, but I really, <laughs> I really like this mask. Don't go buy them all because I want to get more. Yeah, of he them. does like those N95 um, ones. But yeah, I think those are really good ones. Alrighty. Do you want me to stop? I don't want you to stop. It just it is time. Your watch. No, I know because it's time for our next sponsor. So Here's I'm another just, highlighter. I'm, just, I'm curious how many more things we're going to be pulling out of this bag. If we should take a pause or if we should, uh, it's it, yeah. I just don't know. I don't know how this is, feels no, like a Mary Poppins bag. Also here. A, other, oh, he's pulling out a reptile there's book. Other there's other masks. A lot of things. There's, a, there's a Flynn mask. Why there's, is there a reptile book in three here? Three more highlighters. There's a physical notebook because I like mm-hmm. to write things down in notebooks too. And then this was like a book I brought to set one day. So I wasn't looking at my phone to help me relax. This is a, a book um, called Reptiles and Amphibians, A Guide to Familiar American Species. This is an old vintage book that my father sent me because cool. I used to read this with him when I was a kid. Um, oh, Flynn would love Flynn that And Flynn is so into turtles and lizards and things that my dad found this like used. I know. I remember on when he sent it, and to sent us. it and like me and Flynn will look at it sometimes, but I brought it with me to sex. I was like, this will be, yeah, you learn about this will be not my phone. Yeah. There so, you go. uh, what about the, the box turtle, uh, Eastern box turtle <laughs> or land species. Is that all she wrote in, in your or backpack? near water? Lovey. Uh, though they are well adapted for life on, Lovey. Uh, on land. Lovey. They prefer moist open oh woods or swamps. The rest of the podcast is just going to be me reading about box no, please turtles. Stop, stop, please stop. Uh, so sit back, relax. Oh, God. We need to thank, thank you to um, our next sponsor, you guys. So I'm going to cut him off talking about turtles to say thank you to our next sponsor. Who's that? Well, I'm surprised they weren't in your backpack because they usually are. There's still more in there, maybe. We love Raycon, guys. Oh. Raycon. Get, oh, look. Were they in your backpack? Look at that. A must-have for us. I like them as far as your listening devices go. It's summertime, guys, and that means we're all, you know, we're moving about. This pandemic is ending. People are starting to take little trips and doing stuff. You know what I mean? So whether (laughs) whether it's for work or play, a lot of us are going to be on the move again. 
this summer. So my advice to you is take your Raycons with you. Whether you're listening to your Raycons while you're editing videos like myself Mm -hmm. or listening to a calming meditation app and doing yoga like my husband does on the daily. Mm -hmm. Uh, A pair of Raycon wireless earbuds in your ears can make all the difference. You get crisp, powerful beats at half the price of other premium audio brands. Raycons look great and feel even better. They come in a range of cool colors and with a customizable gel tips included for a comfortable in-ear fit. And Raycons are built to go wherever you go with quick and seamless Bluetooth pairing and a compact charging case. So it makes it very convenient. Very compact. Oh, yeah. I personally like them because they're very portable. Look at this little it's guy so case. Cute. Also, uh, I have found that there are there are other brands of these, mm-hmm. but these in particular have a, have a much longer battery life. A 24-hour battery life. Talking 24 hours. It's though. pretty impressive. Not like those other guys. Oh, well, sorry. My unless. brownies are done. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um but I like to sneak one in when we're on a little drive. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're not always into the repetition of the Paw Patrol theme song and you want to listen to a podcast. Maybe yeah. you're driving, listening to this podcast right now. I like I'll sneak one in one ear. Mm-hmm. Maybe you'll be talking to me. I'll be nodding. Mm-hmm. But I'll be listening to Paw Patrol. I'm OK with that. And I'm listening to a podcast in my little Raycon. Listen to that. In my ear. They've been super helpful for us. Summer driving. Oh, yeah. Summer driving. You know. <laughs> <laughs> they have been super helpful for us um, in so many ways. And I use them when I'm editing, when we're on the road. I'm not an earbud gal. I'm not a, a headphone gal. And I'm not even really like, I've, I've talked about how much I don't like Bluetooth but in the past. Do but lose, these are so easy. But you do lose and forget everything. But so not with say, the case. So you'll say, hey, Eric, can I get those? Mm-hmm. I got to do some editing. I know. It's pretty nice. So listen up. Raycon's offering 15% off all their products for my listeners. And here's what you got to do to get it. Go to buyraycon.com slash relax. There you'll get a 15% off your entire Raycon order. And it's such a good deal. You'll want to grab a pair and a spare. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash relax. Buyraycon.com slash relax. That's B-U-Y-R-A-Y. C O N dot com flash relax. Spelling bee champion. All righty. So let's get into our just like everyday average obsessions and addictions. I feel like a lot of your addictions were in your backpack. Chapstick, I'd say, is a big one. Almonds. As far as things bars. like I can't leave, like sunglasses, can't leave the house without. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of them were in there. Yeah. For me, my. What you got? Must haves are not things you can put in a purse. So like right now. Which you don't own. Oh, which I don't own. Um, <clears throat> right now, I'm obviously pregnant, so my must-haves are very different than average everyday life. So, like right now, my must-haves are like m- my vitamins, my pregnancy pillow, Ugh. like a hemorrhoid thing. cream. I don't know. <laughs> um, there's a lot of must-haves okay. when you're pregnant. Is there a cream Nausea also? Medicine. Because I mostly notice like the hemorrhoid like wipes that are all oh, around. Yeah. You gotta have them. Uh, the way <laughs> the satisfying. Oh yeah, the way you said that. That uh, you don't I now feel like I, I don't think I have them, but I might go try one just to see. Yeah, it's uh, nice. It's refreshing. It's like it's, it's like a nice. menthol. It's not menthol butt would wipe. Hurt. I don't know. I hope it's not menthol. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, imagine putting menthol on a sore. Like no, thank you. Okay, let's move on from sores and hemorrhoids to our actual obsessions because I'm not obsessed with those things. Things in, like normal everyday life that like I. I am obsessed with. We have mm-hmm. one. My first one's embarrassing. It's my blanket. Like my blankie. Oh, yeah. It's disgusting. That's uh, that's fair. It's a very weird thing about you. Isn't it weird? I think it is. I mean, I it's endearing to me at this point. But like. I want to ask you. Speaking like Speaking of smells, that thing's <laughs> no, funky. No, it smells like a laundry detergent. Funky town. When you wash it. Wait, I have an actual question for you. I've never asked you this. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> the first time, like, it must have been one of the first times that, like, we, you know, were sleeping in the same bed. Um, you must have noticed it because I sleep with this thing. And we were, you know, like, just starting to date. So, like, what, what? did you think? The, like, because I don't think I was like, this is my blankie. I sleep with Like, I don't think I the, said anything. The tattered pink slash brown <laughs> b- obvious childhood blankie. Yeah. Like, what did you think? You or still, you just like, like this girl's so weird? and sleep with. I still think that. Yeah. But what did you think I, but, the first time I, you saw it? Were you like, this a is a red to flag? Unpack here. Um, like, was it not a red flag for you? Like, I feel like that might be red flaggy for um, a woman to be like still like sleeping on her um 
her blankie. Obviously, it's mentally, been weird. I, obviously, mentally, I blew right past that, like, and forgave it. <laughs> but, um, but that's uh, weird. Did you have a moment? I genuinely want to know if you had a moment when you saw it and you're like, oh, damn, oh, for she's, sure, she's yeah. that girl. Well, yeah, I mean, to, to all my friends, I was like, yeah, but dude, she's got a blankie. No, when you said <laughs> no, that, for real, did you have a thought um, or we just kind of like, whatever, she's. You already knew I was weird, I uh, guess. I just thought you were quirky. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, well, that. Do you want to say what it is? It's like your actual childhood. Yeah, it's what I was brought home from in the hospital. Like it's like a. And you still have it. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and now I think it's awesome that now our son has a, a version of the same. Yeah, it's the same kind of blanket. Material and he and loves it. And he blanket, loves it. And he loves it and can't sleep without it. Also. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's, and you bring it on everywhere you go I do. on tour because it's been around the world and it. looks like it has too, yeah, by the way. It's been all around the world. I, I can't sleep unless I'm sleeping on it. Like I sleep with it under my face. Like I need it under my face. Yeah. I mean, I know that it's, it's, uh, it's I'm there it. and I've gone to take like a, like a little snooze. Mm-hmm. Um, when, you know, when you were out and about, you know what I mean? Like if I've had time to like take like a nap. Mm-hmm. Um, I've tried it out. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It's kind of nice. Or like you, you've it's been. A, like a I remember you've been away on the tour edges. a couple of times, and you had forgotten it or something. And uh, yeah, it's kind of. We nice. had ourselves the time. What does yeah, that like mean? Weird. Jeez, Jeez. Well, we, you're the one who said it. that was a weird thing to say, dude. Okay, moving I mean, on. I slept with your blankie. <laughs> not whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, there's the obvious things like my phone like my electronics but i feel like that's boring so i'm obviously very addicted to my phone like that is an obvious unfortunate thing about me um but another thing i feel like i'm obsessed with and have an addiction to is these freaking starbucks tumblers yes like i do. have to have them with me at all times they're all over the house i have every I've single always, one that is i i like this talking about all these things um i've always noticed that Starbucks also sold Starbucks merch. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like my whole life going into a Starbucks, mm-hmm. you know, on occasion, notice it had never bought a single thing from there other than just like coffee in a cup. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that people even bought these things. Yeah. And then I met you and you got them all. Just the tumblers, just the, like well, the yeah. metal tumblers. Right. But you have v- many versions of them and you're constantly walking around them. Like you and genuinely. Somehow I like, yeah. And I go through like, I don't know why, but I switch them because I leave them in you rooms. You have one now, right? It says your name on it. Like, why don't you? Yeah. And you do use that too, actually. Well, yeah, I do use that one the most. It's dirty right now. So yeah. I'm using this garbage. Oh. Um, yeah, I do have one. But uh, yeah, I'm obsessed. What is it? Obsessed. It's I that they keep my water so cold. Why has it got to be so cold? What because do you mean? I can't what enjoy ice. I hate water. Like, I think water is disgusting. Like, if it's just something that's the opposite of addiction and obsession. It's like the number one thing you need water. to be alive and you like. Oh, I, I it. think it's taste disgusting. Uh, and if yeah. you say water doesn't have a taste, you're actually wrong. It does. I'm not saying that. Yeah. So um, but I'm saying I, I, think need, it's disgusting. I know that my body throughout the day needs and wants and then likes drinking water. I don't like drinking it. So the only way I will drink it is if it is ice, ice cold, like very, very, very cold. So lukewarm water or like room temperature water to me is like will make me vomit. Like I think it's disgusting. Please tell me there's someone else out there that feels this way. I know it's weird. Uh, no, I'm sure there's lots of people. I like these, but I like them when they're, um, Plastic. Not, not metal. I, I, I can't drink out of metal things. And this is a metal straw mm-hmm. in a metal That's container. So and you take, do you not taste the metal? I feel like no. you taste the, um, the alloys, you know no, what I mean? I like there's something cold. about it to where it adds like a tint. Speaking of how water tastes, you're not, you're drinking metal water, right? It metal like, water? It tastes like metal to you, right? No, it does not. It tastes like cold water. And tastes delicious. I like like okay. drinking water when it's out of these things. So this is a big obsession for me and addiction for me. Um, another one. Let's see. I'm trying to get through a few of mine. Um, pockets. I don't know if this is an obsession or a necessity, but like I cannot have clothes that don't have like if my clothes. This is a, a girl problem, unfortunately, because for some reason, people who make clothes are like boys need really deep, awesome, amazing pockets and girls don't need them at all. And so it's really hard to find clothes for women that like have good pockets. And this is like, what do you mean? A, they're like shallow. Well, they're shallow or they don't exist uh-huh. like on anything. Like, 
Like when I like I'm wearing sweatpants right now that I bought at Target. I had when I went not, looking at this for the sweatpants, the first thing I do is I look for pockets. And then if they don't have pockets, I won't even I won't even consider it. I see how that could be an issue and how you want them or think that you would want them because like you haven't been allowed them by society. No, I but need I've been them. telling you that like it's not all it's cracked up to be because yes, I'm, it is. No, well, I'm telling you that I'm spending my life trying to get things out of these pockets. Oh, I don't want them. I don't want things in them. I do. I want to limit the amount of things that I need in them constantly. I'm like the backpack or like some other no, sort of it's thing. The phone, I don't, like, who doesn't want that? I don't want things in my I pockets. I want my phone and I want like the phone keys. Fine. If I, The keys if I'm like driving somewhere. That's all I need in my pockets. But when you don't have pockets and you have a phone and you have a toddler, where do you put it? I have to put it in your bra. You have to put it in your underwear. Like where do you put your phone? I think it's so annoying. I guess you put it in your purse. That's why people have a purse. But I, I have to like it makes me so crazy when clothes don't have pockets, but it is like an addiction and an obsession of mine. Like they have to or like I'm like I'm really angry. I saw a funny meme. I don't know if you showed it to me or what, but it was like how women have evolved since they don't have pockets to be able to hold all these things. And it was a oh, picture yeah. of somebody holding a cell phone, a cup of coffee, their car mm-hmm. keys and all these things like in their hands. Like, yeah, it's ridiculous without thinking about it. Um. I think I am addicted Sorry to. Sorry about that. It's all right. You didn't do it. I think I'm addicted to um, makeup, but not in the way that girls are addicted to makeup when they are like good at makeup and like, oh my god, I love makeup so much. I don't love makeup. I actually don't like makeup. I don't like like having to apply it, but I can't do anything at all any day until I put my makeup on. It's like the first thing I do when I wake up after I brush my teeth. And uh-huh. it's because I'm like, well, I'm insecure about my face. If we're being honest here, so like, I feel uh-huh. like I need it, but like, I like you without. I could like, I was trying to think of like, I was trying to make a list of things I can't live without, and that was like the first thing that popped my mind. I'm like, oh, I would die. Yeah, I would makeup. say that it's it's very impulsive. Like the first thing you do, I think everything that we've ever gone to together, we I've always been late to because mm-hmm. you're doing that. And I don't even put on like a crazy amount. It like no. takes me ten minutes. It's like just a little cover up foundation, like. Eyebrows, sure, blush, sure. whatever. Of course, yeah. Of course, of course. Of course. But um, anyway, sorry. Let's get into some of your your things. We'll get back to me later. I'm boring. So what is like something like Eric Stockland uh, is addicted to must have? I don't know that I've prepared a list. Shoes. Um, I like shoes. Things that I impulsively buy online. Shoes. Sho- well, like sneakers. Shoes and sunglasses is your jam. Sunglasses. I hate that we live in Southern California because I also like... Uh, jackets which i feel like mm-hmm. we discussed at some point um but um i have a strange relationship these days with coffee and caffeine oh yeah you are addicted to coffee um i am and i need it kind of first thing before like operating as a human mm-hmm. it's like uh hanging out with him we're playing trucks and then i'm like gonna make coffee It used to be I would always walk him in a stroller to go get coffee first thing in the morning. And then now it's too hot. It's too hot. And there is uh, a pandemic on a global scale. Uh, So I've been making it at home. You can like but then it's like if you make it in the coffee brewer, like so it's like the first thing you're doing in the morning is you're dumping out the coffee grounds, coffee grounds. And then you're got to wash that thing out. And then there's the other part that that thing goes into that you got to wash out. And then you got to fill the thing with water and you got to wash out the coffee pot from the day before. It's like there's many steps. And then you have to wait. Come on. <laughs> like <laughs> two to four minutes. For, I can never wait till like the pot is like done. Like I always am like sneaking out a cup before it's done brewing. So then it's like pouring onto the hot plate under where the thing is supposed to go. Did you fall asleep? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Just, no, I'm just I'm, I'm a little bit in pain. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so, I didn't know if it was like. A pain squint or you would fall no, asleep? No, I was, I'm, I'm in pain. Like I've, I'm in, I'm, yeah. yeah, we won't talk about that, but just pregnancy. So anyway, go ahead. I'm coffee. So you keep, you should keep talking about how you make coffee. Yeah. What the, it's on your hand. What is that what ring? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Oh my God. I love that I've been wearing this for like a week and you had no idea. I'm wearing not my wedding ring right now. What is that? It's like a cheap crap w- ring that is two sizes too big because my hands swole, swole up like they're all swollen from pregnancy. So my ring doesn't fit me right now. Really? Yeah. So to take it out, this happened in the last month of my pregnancy with Flynn where I had to like take off my rings cause my, my fan, my hands got too big. And, um, so I had a day where 
my hands were really swollen and I was really uncomfortable. And, um, my ring was like hurting. And so I, I got my ring off and I remembered that I had bought this like crappy ring a long time ago. It's cheap. It's the only thing that fits me. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I'm wearing this. But anyway, the point is that my hands are too big. And so th- my rings don't fit me right now. You still so, want to be wearing a ring? Yes, because I want people to know that I'm taken by you. Oh. Well, I can talk about my other strange addiction is that I always have to be wearing mine. That is not I true. Know. My thing is that Eric like, never wears his wedding ring. I I'm shocked you're wearing it right now. To I'm be wearing honest, it now, yeah, no, I I love to wear it. I'm all I'm, I. I think that like when the all of the hand washing started and like them yeah. saying like the stuff on your hands could theoretically kill you and everyone you love, like I, when we were all washing our hands thoroughly and constantly, I was I always I was like this is something that I'm not going to have on my hand while we're I'm washing my hands till they're bleeding mm-hmm. like all the time. And I I have a, a horrible phobia of losing it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I and I have a very specific place where I keep it when I'm not wearing it. So I'm always thinking um, that I know where it's it's like comforting for me to like, like yes I know where it is now but like it's 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 like the sizing of it is that like it could fly off if I saw someone across the room was like hey like you know what I yeah. mean like it could like just it's a little too wing big off. But I wouldn't want it to be too small, like too tight. Either. Yeah, no, that's very uncomfortable. Uh-huh. From experience, I know from last week that when your ring is too tight, it is extremely right. uncomfortable. Right, yeah. So, um, yeah, that kind of segues nicely into that, like. That is not one of your obsessions, wearing your ring. One of your obsessions is not wearing your ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Meanwhile, um, I'm over here, like, putting on fake rings just to have something on my finger. But, like. Well, then, yeah, and then if I've, like, had to go to, to work, I can't wear it. And I don't right. want to just, like, leave it wherever you know yeah i don't know no i understand i would lose it if i took my tour. yeah or if like in like the the water you know what i mean it falling i don't know i always i'm very scared of losing yeah it, I, I guess understand. is what i'm saying uh yeah and coffee i don't know <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like, what a tangent you can we buy just went on. you can buy those like cans of like cold brew but it's not as good it's like to go somewhere and order it's like, I, I but i need it first thing but also like it makes me feel insane these days mm-hmm. like it makes me like Feel like my heart's racing and and like the way that they make some cold brews now these days oh, that i feel crazy. like it's like they're crazy it's in it's intense you know what i mean mm-hmm. so i'm like do i need i need it but like should i have it like without caffeine i don't know i don't know maybe someone out there listening has like a recommendation of like is what to do like instead of i've heard, of co- you, I've heard well, people say half sometimes. calf that's a thing. Is that a thing? I feel like I've heard people say that. Yeah, people have said that. In line in thing. front of me, can I get a half calf? Is that what this is? Does that mean it's half caffeine and half not? A yeah, I think it's just less. I would, I would assume it's just less caffeine, right? I know, but I, but I also still like need it. Well, you know what I need. <laughs> <laughs> it gets me. It gets me every time. What do you, need, though? you know what I need. What's that? Stamps.com. Yes, of course you need stamps. I love stamps.com for real. If anybody's mailing things these days. Guys, seriously. It's you. I just did a live show and we had to mail out all these like VIP postcards and stickers. And like, I'm always mailing stuff out to y'all because I love like giving away like little signed posters and like little t shirts and like merch and whatever. And um, I'm also sending out my new merch to people right now. And it's so convenient having stamps.com because it takes away the hassle of going to the post office and dealing with all that mumbo jumbo. It is so nice. So this summer, guys, as we know, it's showing welcoming signs of a more normal life. Hopefully, geez Louise, I hope so. (laughs) Finally, you can get back to enjoying life's little pleasures like smiling at your neighbor, seeing a movie and going to the post office. people stop smiling at their neighbors? I don't. Well, you're right. De- you're right. I actually did aggressively cross the street away from them. Yeah. No, I think I don't know. But it, it, you, go, going to the post office. Just kidding. Not fun. Not for me. Not for me. Guys. I appreciate what they do there, but uh, I don't want to go it's there. It's such a hassle. It's such a hassle. There. No one wants to go. Mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send letters, ship packages, and pay less a lot less, with discounted rates from USPS and UPS. Stamps.com saves businesses thousands of hours and tons of money every 
year. I've loved it. Corey's loved it. It's been such a lifesaver for us in this household. Strongly recommend. It is really awesome. Stamps.com brings the same U.S. postal and UPS shipping services right to your computer. How easy is that? They make it easy for small businesses to mail and ship without needing to take a trip to the post office. Print official U.S. postage and shipping labels 24-7 without having to leave your desk or buy any fancy equipment. All you need is your computer and a standard printer. Once your mail is ready, just schedule a pickup or a drop off. It is that simple. It makes it so easy. And also like whenever you're sh- shipping a package to someone, it's so annoying to like have to like weigh it at the post office and wait in line for a long time. And then they weigh it. And it's like, it's just a whole thing. It's like so annoying. It's like such a, I don't know. I'm just saying it's a hassle love. It, it sure is. I'm just saying it's, <laughs> I, I like, I love this. I, I genuinely love stamps.com so much. Um, Do they send you a scale? You can get a scale, yeah. Oh, okay. Stamps.com is a no-brainer, guys, saving nearly 1 million small business owners like you time and money. They offer deals you can't get anywhere else, like up to 40% off USPS and up to 66% off UPS shipping rates. And with their switch and save feature, you can quickly compare carriers to find the best rates every time. Stop wasting time going to the post office and go to stamps.com instead. There's no risk. And with my promo code relax, you get a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. See, I was that's what I was hinting at. I knew that was coming. No long term commitments. Yeah. No long term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in relax. That's stamps.com promo code relax. All right, so we're going to zip through some of our weird addictions and obsessions here at the end here. So, like, obviously, we all know one of my addictions. I don't, I hate calling it an addiction, but, like, so you don't. brought it up. My dermatillomania, like, skin picking. I don't want to get into it because it's, like, oh. gross and weird. But, like, that is a thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to, like. No, no, I'm, I'm saying, like, it is, like, if you're, t- if we're talking about my addictions and my obsessions. Clippers. Yeah. Like that is one of them. And it's really weird Uh, for me. It is. I'm not saying people who have this condition are weird. I'm Mm -hmm. just saying for me personally, it is weird. Um, So uh, this is silly as well, but I'm extremely addicted to TikTok. Would you not concur? Yeah, Yeah, you are very compulsive. I am obsessed. Well, well, certainly I think like we all do these days have a, um, a problem with social media. I'm sure everyone listening at some point has like deleted an app because they have found themselves opening it without Mm -hmm. consciously choosing to do so or moving it. I've done things where I've moved those apps further Mm -hmm. away Mm -hmm. in the scrolling process so Mm -hmm. that they're not right there. Cause I've, when you do it and you didn't even think to do it and you're just there, that's a bit freaky, huh? Yeah. I'm very, very, very addicted to TikTok. I think Um, that app is, is very strange. Like you just can keep going forever and it it kind of gives me a headache. I love it. It gives me a headache. Give me a headache. I I don't like it. I don't look at TikTok. I don't like it because you do like it. I I like it when you're like, look at this one. And I find like genuine original humor Mm -hmm. and can relate to something. Uh, but like when, um, for me, like I don't like it because, like physically, it sh- it shuts down my eyes and brain, and it I hurts love it. them. Shut down my brain. I like it. Um, another thing I am addicted to, and it is an obsession of mine that like I can't live without, is freshly baked, like chocolate desserts, like brownies, cookies. It's usually chocolate chip cookies, but pregnancy, I lean more towards other things. Have to be freshly cooked, warm gooiness, like. Mm-hmm. It's it is it's not like I like it, guys. Like I know it's like everyone likes that. Like Colleen, that's like not an obsession. Everyone likes that. No, it's like it is every night. It's every night of my life. I'm making these things from scratch and eating them. It's really strange. There's one in the oven right now. As I took it out. Is. Oh, okay. Well, th- uh, your alarm went off, and during, I'm going to eat it during we're the done. recording of this. Right. Very very professional <laughs> podcast. Uh, uh, um, as it does a lot of times. When right. We're doing so. This. Um, those are some of mine. One thing that Eric Stockland is very obsessed with is plants. Yeah. Succulents, plants. Yeah, I don't always... know how to psychologically break that down. Um, I like them. He loves them. I mean. It, that wasn't a big thing on the East Coast. Um, I don't know if it is buying, now. Plant succulent well, buying? Well, like succulent and cactus and those things. I mean, like I was big into. Um... He loves a succulent. He loves a cactus. I find it very like meditative and calming to to garden in general. And I like uh, the idea of caring for something 
and watching it grow mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully flourish. Yeah. So I don't know. I think that's a good quality. I love it about in a, you. In a hobby. And I always. I would consider I always, it more of like a hobby and a, like an enjoying, pleasing, calming thing that I do. A centering thing, if you will. Sure. I mean, we have thousands of but succulents. Like, there has been points where I've been like, oh, this is too much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. No, there's a lot. So I did say at the beginning of this episode, um, I can't think of any like weird I, obsessions or addictions. No, of yeah, yours. I, I know I have one now that is. I don't know if it's that interesting, but like I like have found that like through this pandemic, I've needed to like watch or rewatch period crime family dramas. What? Like Sopranos, I, I, which I had already seen. I rewatched every episode Family of makes that. it sound like it's like a kid show. And well, the crime family, like not a not a family show <laughs> but about a crime family, which there is. It's like a whole genre, like kind of mm. but like that. Uh, and then I Sopranos and then all of. Uh, Peaky Blinders, which is these are all amazing TV shows, by the way. There's another Breaking one Bad, uh, and now I'm rewatching Boardwalk Empire, and I'm just like, oh man, I want to be on a show that took place in a time where everyone was just wearing cool hats all the time. You just bought a cool hat. That's it's, another yeah, obsession. but then I'm like, I can never, I will never wear, I will never. I think online shopping is an addiction for both of us. It's pretty bad. Um, We've gone over this. Yeah, something to look forward. To. Too. Yeah, so I'm just like, oh, I better hope that like, this mail. thing is going to be good that I saw on my phone and then it gets here and it's not as good. I know. I know. It never is. I, I order boxes full of crap that I'm like, I'm like, why did I get this stuff? Yeah. Um. So the other thing I did mention at the beginning of the episode was like, what's in our shower? I don't know why I said that, but like, that is interesting to me what people use in the shower or bath. Uh -huh. And I'm very boring, just like my purse. Like, I'm very boring. I just have my. Obvious function of beauty, shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> obviously. Um, a razor, obviously. Um, and this is really controversial. We get really mad about this. I think I get mad about like all your used band-aids that are all over the place. <laughs> I was in the gonna shower. get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, but my other essentials are I really like this um also this Oribe. I don't know how to say it. Orib, Oribe, Oribe, Oribe. I don't know. Oh, the shampoo and conditioner is really fancy. And whenever I want to like switch it out of function beauty. I go to that shampoo and conditioner. And also there is a, I have a tar shampoo that I, I like literally need. Like I have to have it. Are we talking itchy head shampoos? Itchy shed. I'm my, I'm, I'm itchy, itchy shed. <laughs> <laughs> Itching my head as we speak. Um, uh, itchy head shampoo. It's really, it well, literally would, smells like tar. It smells so that disgusting. Would be mine is that like, I, and this is like a need is that like once a week I need Head and shoulders. Mm -hmm. I have sensitive skin, mm -hmm. and I don't know that it's. I don't. I don't think I have like noticeable. I don't think I have like dandruff. No, but, I it's, do. but it is a dandruff shampoo, and I've had it before. But I like. I feel like I get what I would describe as itchy head, mm -hmm. and this is my itchy head shampoo. Mm -hmm. And I just if I do it once a week, then I'm. Mm -hmm. Then that's good. But but I need it. Well, what was I was going to say is controversial. Is oh. that I do not own body wash. You do not. Well, it's there because I there. Well, you a buy bunch. it. So yeah. Eric does have body wash, and I use. What do you his wash body your body wash. with? Well, that's as controversial. It's like I made a shower routine video once, and I talked about. I was like, I don't really wash my body. Sometimes I just use the shampoo for my hair and just kind of rub it around my body. Is it not and the same? Well, that's it. It was very controversial. Oh, I got really? so much hate. Everyone told me how I'm so disgusting. So strange but life. like, I don't like to shower. And so I will shower so as fast as I can. And I'm like, just using the shampoo that drips on my body, whatever. But I do also use the, the um, body wash that is in the shower. That is Eric's. But we don't get like fancy body washes like the cheap crap. Like we're really boring. So our shower, yeah, those no, are our shower just, essentials. It was, it's just like whatever one is at CVS and it has like the yellow thing in front of it that says it's cheaper than it's yeah. supposed to be. So those are shower essentials, but also band-aids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, like there are always this is, this, I'm disgusting. Why are you with me? There are always band-aids in the shower. It is so, that's really gross. Uh, that's a good episode title. I'm disgusting. Why are you with me? Um, yeah, that I, is I think that, what are, we, what are we talking about? Like your like. Well, I was just saying like our the wake um, that you leave behind you or your hygiene. I was just trying to talk about I don't like think the things in the shower that are essentials. Oh, you know what's an obsession? An yeah, you're essential. Gross. What? Um, what are they called? Q-tips. Uh huh. 
Like, can I live without them? Definitely need Q-tips. Every day. You know you're not supposed to use them. They're like really bad for your ears. Yeah. I once had... Don't care. I once... Um, Do you care? Well, I once jumped in a lake and my ear like popped or something weird. And then I couldn't hear... Had an earache and couldn't hear out of that ear for like weeks. And it was really kind of freaky and scary to me. And then I had to go to a, a doctor and it was just that like... I'd had so much residue of Q-tips in my ears <gasps> that it had like wadded up. And then essentially like when I jumped in the lake, like the pressure of that, like plugged it <gasps> into my ear, but it was just like remnants of like Q-tip, Q-tip fibers that had. Yeah. You never told me this. So then the, and the doctor was like, just rinse your, just like turn your head to the side with like hot water and then turn it. You know what I mean? Don't use Q-tips. And I was like, oh, yes, of course. And then I no use them way. like a hundred a day. <laughs> we go through boxes of Q-tips like you would not believe. Well, not only do we go through boxes of Q-tips, like our bathroom floor is just littered with Q- There's just Q-tips. Q-tips and diapers. Yeah. They're uh, just kind what? of part is anyone of still the still listening? Uh, I hope no one's listening still. I, I kind of felt like... <laughs> Like for most of this episode, that it was just us having a conversation. I, know, I was like, that I would never want, to this? but also that I would never want anyone to hear, nor <laughs> would think it. would be interesting. <laughs> it's uh, our thirtieth episode, and we're just like talking about like stuff in our backpack and in our shower, band aids in our shower. <laughs> we didn't like plan like a cool fun episode. We're just like, I like seashells uh, in my backpack. <laughs> well, and we're talking about smelling armpits. I hope that. Hi, if you're listening, you can relate. And I, cons- anyone I consider listening? us friends. Leave a comment or a review right now. If you're still listening, say, I'm still listening. Well, I what a wonderful I wanted- 30th episode. We do have a really cool cover of the theme song this oh, week. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, if you're listening to this podcast on the day it came out, there's a really <gasps> fun episode of Good Trouble tonight that I will be on. That it on is a good Freeform. Oh, it's a really good episode. Next day, Hulu. Oh, we didn't do a bump check. We're going to end with a bump check tonight, guys. Um, So Eric's going to describe to you what this bump is looking like today. I am now 20 weeks pregnant as you guys listen to this. Here we go. 20 weeks pregnant. Colleen May Ballinger is wearing a mix match tie dye sweatsuit outfit and a Fievel Goes West hat. The bump is aggressively (laughs) protruding. Into my face, belly button is shading half of the room. <laughs> I'm only halfway. She is. Uh, I look nine months pregnant, and I'm halfway done. Yeah, I felt. I've now felt um, both babies. Both babies move me, which has been really cool. Yeah, so cool. Um, and yeah, let's uh, let's leave with. Can I just? Can yeah. I get in there? No. Let me get a I, little, bet it's a, I bet it's a rank right just give now. Me a little, this is how we're going to end. It's not week. good. Oh my just God, you're little. so weird. It's probably really stinky. Right I love you. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks for listening, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>